Samuel Little, the most prolific serial killer in U.S. history. Samuel Little, a convicted serial killer, claimed to have murdered 93 people between 1970 and 2005. With over 60 confirmed murders, the FBI declared him the most prolific serial killer in U.S. history. 1940 to 2020. Who was Samuel Little? Samuel Little's life of crime began in the 1950s as a teenager in Ohio. Over the decades, he crisscrossed the country, frequently landing in jail. In 2012, a DNA test connected him to three unsolved murders from the late 1980s in California, leading to his 2014 conviction and a life sentence without parole. Despite initially maintaining his innocence, Little eventually confessed to 93 murders across 19 states. He died in custody in 2020 at age 80. By December 2021, investigators confirmed Little's responsibility for over 60 murders. Early Life Samuel Little was born Samuel McDowell on June 7, 1940, in Reynolds, Georgia. Little claimed that his mother, Bessie Mae Little, was a teenage prostitute who had abandoned him. Authorities believe that she might have given birth to him while she was in jail. The census from when Little was born said Bessie Mae worked as a maid and his father was 19-year-old Paul McDowell. Soon after his birth, Little's family moved to Lorain, Ohio, where he was brought up mainly by his grandmother. He attended Hawthorne Junior High School, where he had problems with discipline and achievement. By his own account, he began having sexual fantasies about strangling women as a child, starting when he saw his kindergarten teacher touch her neck. As a teenager, he collected true crime magazines depicting the choking of women. In 1956, after being convicted of breaking into a property in Omaha, Nebraska, Little was held in an institution for juvenile offenders. His mother was listed on the booking card as whereabouts unknown. Little moved to Florida to live with his mother in the late 1960s, and by his own account, he was working at various times as a cemetery worker and an ambulance attendant. He said he then began traveling more widely and had more run-ins with the law, being arrested in eight states for crimes that included driving under the influence, fraud, shoplifting, solicitation, armed robbery, aggravated assault, and rape. Little claimed that he took up boxing during his time in prison, referring to himself as a former prize fighter. Crimes. In 1961, Little was sentenced to three years in prison for breaking into a furniture store in Lorraine. He was released in 1964. By 1975, he had been arrested 26 times in 11 states for crimes including theft, assault, attempted rape, fraud, and attacks on government officials. In 1982, Little was arrested in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and he faced charges for the murder of 22-year-old Melinda Rose LaPree, who had gone missing in September of that year. A grand jury declined to indict him for her murder. However, while under investigation, Little was extradited to Florida and tried for the murder of 26-year-old Patricia Ann Mount, whose body was found in September 1982. Prosecution witnesses identified Little in court as a person who spent time with Mount on the night before her disappearance. Due to mistrust of witness testimonies, Little was acquitted in January 1984. Little moved to California where he stayed in the vicinity of San Diego. In October 1984, he was arrested for kidnapping, beating, and strangling 22-year-old Lori Barros who survived. One month later, he was found by police in the backseat of his car with an unconscious woman also beaten and strangled, in the same location as the attempted murder of Barros. Little served two and a half years in prison for both crimes. Upon his release in February 1987, he immediately moved to Los Angeles and committed at least 10 additional murders. Little was arrested on September 5, 2012, at a homeless shelter in Louisville, Kentucky, and extradited to California to face a narcotics charge after which authorities used DNA testing to establish that he was involved in the murders of Linda Alford, killed on July 13, 1987, Guadalupe Duarte Apodaca, killed on September 3, 1987, and Audrey Nelson Everett, killed on August 14, 1989. All three women were killed and later found on the streets of Los Angeles. He was extradited to Los Angeles, where he was charged on January 7, 2013. A few months later, the police said that Little was being investigated for involvement in three dozen murders committed in the 1980s, 
which until then had been undisclosed. In connection with the new circumstances in Mississippi, the LaPree murder case was reopened. In total, Little was tested for involvement in 93 murders of women committed in many U.S. states. Victim drawings. Despite inaccuracies in recalling dates and attire, Little had a sharp memory for other details. The FBI noted his ability to remember locations and vehicles, and he drew pictures of many victims. In 2018, Texas Ranger James Holland, seeking to solve a 1994 murder, securing Little's confession, and many more in exchange for a prison transfer. Little's talent for drawing led to detailed portraits of his victims, aiding the FBI in solving cold cases. He told New York Magazine, I live in my mind now with my babies, victims, in my drawings. Later Confessions On November 9, 2018, Little confessed to the 1996 fatal strangulation of Melissa Thomas. 28. On November 13, 2018, Little was charged with the 1994 murder of Denise Christie Brothers in Odessa, Texas after having confessed the crime to a Texas Ranger in May 2018. Little pleaded guilty to the murder of Brothers on December 13 and received another life sentence. The Ector County, Texas District Attorney and Wise County, Texas Sheriff's Office announced on November 13 that Little had confessed to dozens of murders and may have committed more than 90 across 14 states between 1970 and 2005. On November 15, 2018, the Russell County, Alabama District Attorney announced that Little had earlier that month confessed to the 1979 murder of 23-year-old Brenda Alexander, whose body was found in Phoenix City, Alabama. On November 16, 2018, Macon, Georgia sheriffs announced that Little had credibly confessed to the 1977 strangling murder of an unidentified woman and the 1982 strangling murder of 18-year-old Fredonia Smith. In the fall of 2018, Little confessed to the 1982 murder of 55-year-old Dorothy Richards and the 1996 murder of 40-year-old Daisy McGuire. Both of their bodies were found in Halma, Louisiana. On November 19, 2018, Harrison County, Mississippi Sheriff Troy Peterson said that Little had confessed to strangling 36-year-old Julia Critchfield in the Gulfport area in 1978 and dumping her body off a cliff. On November 20, 2018, Lee County, Mississippi law enforcement officials announced that Little had admitted to killing 46-year-old Nancy Carol Stevens in Tupelo, Mississippi in 2005 and that the case would be presented to a grand jury in January 2019. On November 21, 2018, Richland County, South Carolina authorities announced that Little had confessed to murdering 19-year-old Evelyn Weston, whose body was found near Fort Jackson, South Carolina, in 1978. Little confessed to having killed 20-year-old Rosie Hill in Marion County, Florida, in 1982. On November 27, 2018, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, announced that a violent criminal apprehension program team had confirmed 34 of Little's confessions and was working to match the remainder of Little's confessions to known murders or suspicious deaths. Little began making the confessions in exchange for a transfer out of the Los Angeles County prison in which he was being held. One included his confession to a previous cold case homicide in Prince George's County, Maryland, previously one of only two homicide cases in that county with unidentified victims. In December 2018, Little was indicted for strangling Linda Sue Boards, 23, to death in May 1981 in Warren County, Kentucky. Her body was found on May 15, 1981, near U.S. Route 68. One of Little's victims was identified in December 2018 as Martha Cunningham of Knox County, Tennessee, who was 34 years old when Little murdered her in 1975. Relationships Little claimed to have been married once and had two long-term relationships but no children. His most notable relationship was with Aurelia Jean Dorsey, whom he met in prison in 1971. She warned him about a girlfriend's intention to testify against him, and they became inseparable after his acquittal in 1972. They shoplifted extensively until Dorsey died in 1988. Death Little died in custody at a Los Angeles area hospital on December 30, 2020, at age 80. His cause of death was not publicly disclosed, but there were no signs of foul play. Once an imposing figure at 6'3 and over 200 pounds, 
He became wheelchair-bound in prison, suffering from heart problems, diabetes, and other ailments. Thanks so much for tuning in today, friends. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. If there's anyone special you'd love us to delve into next time, drop their name in the comments below. We're always eager to hear your thoughts, so don't hesitate to share them. And remember, your support means the world to us. So, go ahead, give that like button a smash, hit subscribe, and spread the word by sharing this video with your circle. Until we meet again, keep the curiosity alive. With love, the Midnight Society.